This vehicle has been provided for Corey Fulham Car Guide to Film by Gay's Garage of Val Gagne, Ontario. At Gay's Garage, they have a good selection of new Ford vehicles, trailers, and a good selection of good quality pre-owned vehicles. Feel free to check out their full inventory by going on to gaysgarage.ca. For additional information about Gay's Garage and Val Gagne, check out the description below where you'll find information like their telephone number and their address. What's up guys, Corey Fulham, your car guy here. Today I've got a video for you of this all new and refreshed vehicle from Ford Performance, the 2023 Ford Bronco Raptor. This is wearing an azure gray metallic exterior with black interior with black vinyl seats over here. This vehicle looks pretty good. Raptor logos over here. Sporty design over here. So the tire sizes on the Bronco Raptor are actually wearing a 318 80 or 17s all-terrain tires over here, including both sides. So the Ford Bronco Raptor does come equipped with remote start over here. We'll just make sure the vehicle's locked and then we'll just press this button twice over here. Simple as that. So the Bronco Raptor does come equipped with a smart key system, so you're able to wirelessly lock in and lock the vehicle by just keeping the key fob in your pocket. Press this little orientation here to lock. And then have to wait in a second, grab behind the handle over here. And it will automatically unlock the vehicle. The red design over here, red color over here. It does have red color accent stitching on the steering wheel over here. It's all soft to the touch. We'll step inside over here. So the Bronco Raptor does come equipped with push button start located over here. If you want to start, all you have to do is to make sure you have the key fob within the interior or the key fob is in your pocket. So all you have to do is to simply apply your foot to the brake and push the push button ignition to start over here. Starts right up. Anyways, we'll just go close the door. So on this one, you do get a nice three-spoke steering wheel over here with sport grips, get a little sporty feel. It's a 10-speed automatic transmission over here with manual shiftability over here if you want to shift it manually. If you have the paddle shifters mounted behind the steering wheel with simulated gears over here. And when you put the vehicle in reverse, your backup camera appears with guidance lines over here. Climate controls are located over here. It does have heated seats and a heated steering wheel over here. Two USB ports down below and a wireless charger over here. Electric windows are over here. And as well as the electronic on the fly four wheel drive system over here. That switches in the four wheel drive over here. And if I turn this little switch over here, little red thing over here, you can actually get all the different drive modes over here. Sorry about that, I'll just show right now. There we go. You actually get all the different drive modes, such as slippery mode, tow haul mode, which raises the shift points for better performance while towing, sport mode over here. Um, you got normal mode, off-road mode, and then you got rock crawl mode. So anyways, I'm not going to run it for too long because it's out of gas right there. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and flip on the automatic headlights and check that out as well. Fog lights and hazards. Windows are located over here. They're automatic. I will go check out the exterior real quick. And I got to shut it down. And like I said, it's out of gas. And also the vehicle will sound the horn a few times that'll let you know if the proximity key fob has left the vehicle. Anyways, let's just go pop the front and we'll go check out that motor. So it's a three liter double overhead cam twin turbo V6, producing 418 horsepower and 440 foot pounds of torque over here. So 
So anyways, let's just go shut it down and we'll check out the features over here. So this particular Ford Bronco Raptor does have a touch screen along with Sirius XM satellite radio, AM FM radio, Bluetooth streaming, and navigation over here. Here on the touch screen over here, you can access sources over here. You got Bluetooth audio over here, AM and FM right here. Phone over here. Navigation. You can see where you're going over here. Apps, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto over here. Settings over here. Features, Zoe Lighting over here. It's actually kind of cool to see. And of course, you've got your locking differentials over here, your diff locks, front and rear over here, and your traction off button over here. Auxiliary switches over here. Six buttons. As you can see, the Bronco Raptor does have a hard top. I'm gonna to go ahead and demonstrate that in just a second. Cubby storage over here. So I just had to turn the vehicle's power on without my foot on the brake. We got driver information screen controls over here, over here. Fuel level low, trip one, trip two, seat belts, auto start stop over here, driver assistance over here and then we go back we got driver assistance my view right here raptor status off-road status over here raptor information um, raptor status you can see right there off-road status right there my gauges measurements tire pressure pitch and roll power distribution driver assistance right here and then we'll go back to uh navigation right there you have navigation you can see right there and you got phone audio settings change your settings over here cruise control is located over here you push that and it turns on and then you got your raptor buttons and your steering wheel button over here right there and of course, the Ford Bronco Raptor does have a exhaust modes over here activated by the switch. It does have normal, sport mode, quiet mode over here. So I'm just going to run the vehicle real quick. So, so like I said, I'm not going to run it for too long because it's out of gas. So, so I'm going to go ahead and show the modes over here. Uh, I'm going to press it. Sport mode. Every time you put it in sport mode the sound and this mode off-road use only we're in quiet mode so we're gonna do that again over here every time you switch the exhaust modes it'll just sound louder we're in the quiet mode we'll go to normal mode over here sport mode listen to that it's kind of awesome there, I'll just shut it off. It does have hands-free telephone over here, hands-free telephone controls with your voice commands. We'll show that right now. Help. To get directions, say drive me to, followed by the name of the place you want to go to. To call someone, say call, followed by the name of the person you want to call. Say a frequency to listen to an FM station. Cancel. Like, it's pretty simple. It'll walk you through everything. Anyways, let's just go check out the hardtop over here. Just going to power it off. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is open the tailgate over here and the tailgate window over here. So I'm just going to go inside over here. And we're going to locate these two latches over here. We're going to undo those over here. And then we'll come on that side over here. These L-shaped locks, they have to come out over here. And that side too has to come out. There we go. And I'm going to get that side off. So for that process, I got to have all two windows down. We're just going to do that side anyway. Now I'm going to shut it off over here. 
Now we're gonna go on that side over here. So same as usual, just unlatch over here. Undo those L-shaped locks over here, right there. And uh, hold on, I gotta set the camera down. Okay, so I got that top off over here. So I'll just close the doors and we'll check her out. Looks kind of cool. Top off fashion over here. So we're just gonna put these things back on. So now we'll just put the tops back on over here, over here. Okay, so I had to line it up. So we'll just latch it over here. We'll do those, well, we'll just lock it in with these L-shaped locks over here. And then we'll do that side too. So that side's done. Okay, so we'll just latch this one over here. L-shaped locks, we'll just lock it in. Make sure they're fully locked in. That side there and that side too. Okay, so they're fully locked in, so I'm just gonna double check and make sure they're fully locked in properly. In my case, they are, so we'll just put the windows back up. We'll do that side over here. And then we'll go check out the rest of the vehicle. So if you wanna open this uh, hard top over here, there would be uh, two screws on that side over here. It's hard to see with this top on right there. There would be two screws located on the C-pillar. One on that side and one on the other side there. And you're going to come inside over here. Open the tailgate and the tailgate window over here. So there would be four screws over here. One right there, one right there, and there's one right there, and one right there. And come on the other side and you, you can see there's one right there. One right there, there, and there. So you're gonna undo these two, these things over here. Once that's done, you're gonna locate the wiring harness and washer hose. Disconnect the wiring harness by pushing the tab to release and pulling down over here. Do the same with the hose connector over here, the washer hose. I'm gonna show that as well. So I'm gonna set the camera down so you can watch me do it. Okay, so I got the camera all set right there. Hopefully it won't fall off as I'm disconnecting this wiring harness and the washer hose just to, just to show you guys. So all you have to do is disconnect the wiring harness over here, push the tab to release and pulling down. Let's see if I can try to do this with two hands over here. And there's one. And do the same with the hose connector over here. There's this little button over here. You just push it to unlock it and secure both by putting them into their spots inside the Bronco over here. See if I could do this over here. Kind of clicks in there like so. Do the same with the washer hose connector over here. It plugs right into their spots there. And if you want to put the top back on there, you just put the whole thing on top there and then just put the screws back on each side there and that side too. And then just put the screws back onto the uh, C pillar right there. So once that's done, you're going to come back to the back over here and you're going to locate the uh, washer hose and wiring harness and reconnect them. If you want to take these things out, just push with your thumb over here. It kind of comes right out just like that. Do the same with the wiring harness connector over here. Push, push this tab over here with your thumb to release it pull out. And it comes right out just like that. We're just going to put this washer hose back on. You kind of have to push to kind of to get it back into place there. Do the same with the wiring harness connector. Goes back in there and it clicks right into place. And there you have it and you're all set to go. All right, so now let's close the uh, tailgate window and the tailgate door right here. We'll check out the back side over here. Here on the back side over here, just have this little armrest over here that will come down. The back seats do fall down with this little lever over here. Same thing on the other side right there. Same as usual. You got your own power window switches over here and as well as your USB port over here, two USB ports, and as well as a AC 120 volt outlet, 400 watts maximum right there. Now we'll just check out the passenger side over here. The Bronco Raptor does have four performance logos on the door sill. Same on the driver's side there. It does have red Bronco logos over here. It does have doom lights on top, passenger airbag, 
sun visors with your safety instructions. It does have the owner's manual with your important safety information over here. Ford Performance 2023 Bronco Raptor Canada kit. And when you purchase your new Ford Bronco, it'll come with this uh, tool kit for taking off the hard top over here. So we'll close this up. In here. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoy my review on the all-new 2023 Ford Bronco Raptor. Be sure to stay tuned next time for more videos just like this. And remember, as always, like, subscribe, favorite, and don't forget to check out my other videos. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's always a lot more where it came from. Take care, guys.